In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to focus in on or zoom into a specific uh, position or location on your image or video clip in the HitFilm Express Video Editor. Now, in order to do that, the first thing you want to do is get select your video clip or you know image in my case, drag it to your timeline, and because I have an image and I want the panning and zooming to be a bit slowed down, we want to make sure we have enough time uh, to uh, work with. So you want to, you know, increase the amount of time that the image uh, lasts like that okay so it lasts about 15 seconds that should be sufficient for my uh, case so you go ahead and select your um, video clip or image make it into a composite shot by selecting this icon over here now we want to make sure that you uh, take the properties um, in composite shot properties from the editor sequence and the effects and transformation properties for, uh, you know you move them with the cl uh, video clip or in my case image know that maybe for your video clip uh, like this is specific for an image because if I don't do this usually I get like a square view a viewing window because it's taking the properties for my image it depends on uh, you know your video clip or what your, your source material whether you select these properties or not so I'll go ahead and hit the OK button and I'm gonna zoom out a bit with the uh, mouse wheel the viewing window and I think this is sufficient now you can see that this is already um, zoomed in on the image zoom yeah and so what you want to do is go ahead and select that this layer uh, specifically the toggle um, icon and then the toggle icon for transformation and now you have all these uh, transformation properties you want to first uh, set the scale down a bit let's try 70 and then a bit more we want we just want the blue border for this image to be just over the viewing window so let's try maybe 50 uh, 51 we, we want to make sure there's no like black black bar at the edge of the you know video uh, that you produce from this so video one and there you go the video clip is over the viewing window at this point what we want to do is uh, zoom in on a uh, zoom in and specifically zoom in on a specific location so to do that you want to enable keyframing for the scale for the zoom in effect and then maybe after uh, I don't know five seconds, we want it to totally uh, zoom in, 100% like that. And so the next thing you want to do is you want to specify it to zoom into a specific location. To do this, go back to the beginning. Say you um, enable keyframing for position like this by clicking that toggle. And now maybe for example, I want to zoom in on the Kodak sign and then zoom in on the, uh, on the Virgin um, sign, which is, you know, I think it ref it's a reference to the airline. But anyways, so what you do is you simply drag your uh, trimmer or scrubber all to the point where the other keyframe ends. It's your choice. You can be afterwards, but it's really your choice. And now you can just sim to simply en enable keyframing for this you drag the video clip where or the image where you want it to be so I want it to show that uh, Kodak sign maybe like so so it's showing that Kodak sign I'll go ahead and give you uh, a, a demo of what that does now it's zooming in on that Kodak sign and so now I want it to circle around very simple what do you do maybe um, maybe after a couple of a couple of seconds you can um, you can specify that by moving the trimmer it'll go up or like like so it'll go up you can always uh, zoom in with the mouse wheel to get a you know idea of where you're going in the video um, clip and then after a couple of uh, more seconds it'll go down to where that uh, virgin sign is All right. Let's see how that looks. So from over here, goes up and like that. Now, if you want, you can have it zoom out and then zoom into a specific position. If you want to do that, you let's see. There's a couple of ways you can do this. I'm gonna actually delete these keyframes, and maybe very simply, you can just copy these two um, keyframes over here since they're the initial starting uh, position and um, starting scale you you can just copy these back over here and then work from there let me see so basically it zooms in on that codec sign 
and then it zooms back out. You want it a bit smoother, you can, you know, a lot, uh, you know, uh, give it a bit more time in between these changes, so it looks a bit more smoother. Another thing you can do to make it look smoother is change these keyframes to the uh, these uh, smooth keyframes. You select all of your keyframes like this. You click, drag, and drag it. Uh, hold the click and drag it over these uh, keyframes, and then select this convert selected keyframes to smooth, and you'll see that there's a bit of a difference. It's a lot smoother. So basically, when it approaches the final value, it slows down. It's uh, you know its rate of change. So once it zooms back out, you now simply specify where you want it to zoom back in. It's very simple. First, you enable uh, scale back to 100, and then you just move your uh, viewing window not specific, specifically viewing window, but your video clip to the area that you wanted to zoom into, the virgin sign. Uh, there you go. Now let's see how that looks. I'm going to put a bit more um, space in between, or time in between these uh, changes. So it zooms into the codex sign, and then zooms out, and then zooms into the virgin sign. And depending on your combination of position keyframes and scale keyframes, you can manipulate how the you know the the transitions look or the you know zooms and the scaling looks. So thanks for listening. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'd appreciate if you like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye.